morning, everyone. It's another day. It's Thursday, June 25th. Now, the other day, I told you it was a very special day. It was my daughter's 22nd birthday. But guess what? It's not a birthday today. It's an anniversary. Mine! My husband and I are celebrating our 26th wedding anniversary today. Now, we dated for about five years before we got married, so... I have known that man 31 years. Craziness, craziness, craziness. Love him to pieces, so happy anniversary, babe. Let's get into the Word of God, and then I have an activity set up behind me, and Pastor Joe is going to help me with it. So let's get into the Word of God first. I'm in Isaiah chapter 55, starting on verse 8. Here's what it says. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, Neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. As the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return from it, without watering the earth and making it bud and flourish, so that it yields seed for the sower and bread for the eater. So is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I, for which I sent, sent it. You will go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and hills will burst forth into song before you. All the trees of the field will clap their hands. Instead of the thorn bush will grow the pine tree, and instead of briars, the myrtle will grow. This will be for the Lord's renown. For an everlasting sign which will not be destroyed. I love the scripture. Okay, I say that all the time, don't I? But I really love this scripture because it makes me think about how, you know how we want things a certain way and it doesn't happen and we think, God, aren't you paying attention to me? Don't you realize that this is something I need or something I want or something I desire? And then we read here, and it says, God's ways are not our ways. And our ways are not God's ways. And the things that God has for us may not be what we are thinking about for us. So whenever I was growing up, I never thought I'd be a teacher. Never in a million became a teacher. And then when I became a teacher... I never thought I'd be working for the church. And here I am working for the church. I never in a million thought I'd work with junior high and high school kids. Nope, never thought so. And here I am, I work with junior high and high school kids and I love working with junior high and high school kids. I always thought I liked the little kids, being a teacher with them. And I realized I'm not a little kid teacher. I'm just not. I love little kids. I love kids. I love kids. But God gives us talents and gifts for the different things he has for us. And he will show us the way we are supposed to go. So his ways are better than our ways. And sometimes it's hard to figure out what those ways are. Right now, people that I know very closely, very dearly, are struggling with decisions that they have to make. Decisions about, what do I do? Where do I go? Do I stay in this? Do I go in that? Do I change my avenue of what I'm going to do for my career? Do I go to this school? Do I go to that school? Do I go to this college? Do I go to that college? All these decisions we have to make. And sometimes all it takes is us saying, God, I don't know what to do. Will you show me what I'm supposed to do? And even then... Sometimes we just have to wait patiently for God to show us the way to go. He always will, but it's just about being patient. So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you that you are in control and that you know the best way, the best plan for each and every one of us. And you have given us the gifts and the talents to be able to accomplish what you have designed us to do and to be. In your very precious name, amen. Okay, 
I'm going to take a break for just a second. I'm going to go get Pastor Joe, and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do today. So just a second. Okay, so I've got tic-tac-toe set up here, and it's with chairs, and Pastor Joe's going to help me. So instead of X's and O's, we're going to use items. So any item you have, I'm going to be cones, and Pastor Joe is basketballs. Now, if you don't want to set up all kinds of chairs, and this is something you can do outside, you can use sidewalk chalk and make your uh, tic-tac-toe board with sidewalk chalk on the ground, and then just use items. And probably a basketball might be a little bit harder outside because it might roll around. You might want to find something that'll just stay stationary, and then these are easy to pick up. Now, another variation of the game is to do it as a race. Pastor Joe and I are not going to do it as a race. But what you do is you can only get one item at a time. So I would put one on and you'd say, mark, set, go, and you'd run with one item, put it on a chair, run back, get another one, put it on a chair, and then if that spot's taken, then you can't use it. Did that make sense, Pastor Joe? It did, and I don't know if you've seen the YouTube video before. The other thing I've seen that works really good are hula hoops. Yeah. So if you have like nine hula hoops, yeah. you can put the hula hoops or, and they keep balls from rolling out. Or the other thing is if you have laundry baskets. Ooh, laundry baskets. I've done great. laundry baskets, like little uh, round laundry baskets. They're super cheap at like Dollar Tree or Family Dollar for like a buck. For one, one buck and you can get nine of them for nine dollars. So super cheap. Not great for laundry because they're too cheap, but they're great for this kind of thing. And you can even do stand back and if you had balls, like different color balls, you could toss them into oh, the baskets. Great. Frisbees would work really good for that too. All right, so we're going to take turns. We're going to show you the, how this works. So he's got basketballs because they're chairs. But the basketballs won't roll through the chair. So who's first? You are. Go ahead. Okay. I'm going to take center. Okay. Are we good at this or what? <laughs> we got a cat already. <laughs> we got a cat already. There's no way anybody can. No way, no way, it's a cat. All right, so the cat one on this one, but you see how that works, just for an idea. Different items, you can use stuffed animals, you can use smaller items like Hot Wheels cars and dolls, whatever you want. You guys have a great time today. This could be a fun activity. See how many different ways you can play it. Bye, y'all.